Oh, yeah, now it's time to get into some characters. Hey, everybody, this is Everyman with Everyman's 40K channel. And yes, finally, 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 as I stated, we are going to get into characters. In front of you today, we have Commander Farsight, and these are all the components that you need uh, from Piper Makes. Actually, I got a couple more uh, pieces in here that you, you're not going to need, and we'll explain. Uh, we're going to do the video a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to change it up so we can speed this up. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice we're going to lay out all the parts. I'm going to explain what the parts are, which parts you need, and then I'm going to go ahead and build it offline and we're going to come back and we're going to do a showcase. I think everybody who is in the 40k or GW world Warhammer quote unquote either 40k or AOS if you're in the Warhammer world and you've built a GW model, uh, you know how to do it. So the way I was doing it before by explaining things and gluing the pieces together and, and you guys sitting here watching me for 30, 40 minutes glue a model together, uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it a little bit differently. So please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me if you like the flow or the feel of this style video better than the first uh, three or four that we've done. Okay, so first things first, let's go over the file set. So you're gonna ho hop on over to printedwargames.com and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find as a partner, you're gonna find Piper Makes and then you're gonna drill down for this particular file set. You're gonna want to find, and I'll throw up a couple pictures here, you're going to want to find the Melee and Hindsight uh, version 2 file set, okay? Basically, go in there, you download those, and you are going to need uh, the Melee and you're going to need the Hindsight. And the reason I say you need both of these is because if you're going to build a Cold Star later, which we will get into, uh, you're going to need the, the Melee weapons, or at least that kit. So now let's get into some pictures. Here's what Piper makes. Here's her interpretation of a Commander Farsight. And you can see these uh, pictures here. And we'll let you have a chance to look at them. Then what we'll do is we'll roll right into some of GW's picks, and right? And this is the actual Commander Farsight. So now that you can see those, we'll go into the stats. Because this is a unique character model, it's special, one of a kind, and it does have the keyword that you know defines it as a special character. So because of that, you cannot change the loadout. So here's the stats, and then pretty much you can see right here on page two of the card, it says none. So no, no modifications, no options at all. Makes it really easy. Okay, so let's go through the parts. Now this is what you're gonna need from from the melee kit, I got my trusty little red pointer here. So I went ahead and I printed out two of these and I printed out options. And this is why I say you need the, the melee kit because within that you can print out different handles and different weapons and different options. So here we went with a single handed. Here we went with a dual end, right? Dual weapon, another one with a different knurled handle and then an even longer one okay so the option most likely that we're going to go with is just the single handle as you can see in the background we already have a version or my version of commander uh, farsight's uh, base okay so we have the top legs lower legs we have the knee joints feet we got the main body or torso we got the hip joint we got jump pack jump pack mount, shield, shoulder pads of the Ronin style. Okay, again, you can print these out. So 
So there are multiple options. I chose the Ronin style. Uh, we have a head back here. And then again, arms. Lower portion of the arms glued at the elbows. Second lower portion of the arm glued at the elbows. And then some multiple hand options. And then one hand option over here because we do uh, need it to hold on to the handle. And uh, Piper has devised a cool way to do that where she separates the thumb and the forehand or the four fingers uh, from the thumb joint. So it's pretty cool. So this is all the parts that you're going to need. Some type of weapon. Okay, so that's why you need the melee kit. You're going to need some type of weapon. And then obviously the rest of this stuff from the hindsight kit. Okay, so that's it. So now what we're going to do, the change in style of the video is we're going to go right into building. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to push the button, shut this down, and when you come back, uh, Farsight, Commander Farsight is going to be built, okay? All right, and it's done. We got another one finished. After this, it's on to the Cold Star Commander. Now, on a wrap-up, this one. So I had these pieces printed, and I didn't use any of them. These two are the same size, but as you can tell, Again, for perspective or for illustration here, that piece in my hand is longer than this piece right here that I used, okay? I actually had to take my razor saw and I cut off right there at the end. So right here, I cut that off and I pinned this piece back in because I wanted that shorter, okay? I think that ended up coming out looking pretty good. I also separated this so there's a pin here as I always like to do so as you can see I went ahead and pinned the model now what we'll do is we're gonna prime this separately from this and this is not done I have a lot more to do uh, what you guys have not seen is this is what I would call its raw form right now okay I'm actually doing more work off camera that you guys are not seeing because that is like a surprise. Okay, so um, once these guys are all done, this is not the finished product. Okay, just to let you guys know. So I got to save a little bit for the end. Otherwise, you guys are going to get bored with what we're doing. So I pinned it. So what we're going to do is we prime this separate from the base. We work on the base separately as an individual model and then we will come back and assemble this and glue it down okay another thing I ran into is this head when you install that head in that little socket down inside there it's looking down right well I needed it to have its head raised up and looking out so you can see right inside here that that ball joint is riding on top of that. It's not down inside there. Okay, so I'm gonna hide that. So the way I'm gonna hide that is I'm gonna do some fancy stuff inside here, okay? Anyway, that's just on the side. You guys will see it on the final showcase once they're painted and ready to go. But believe me, this is not gonna look like this uh, when it's done. But that's it, pretty much that's it all the parts all the pieces and I think it looks pretty good once I get the base done I, you guys are gonna love it because the base is actually gonna make it pop even more once we start adding the foliage and all the other stuff okay so that's it we're gonna wrap this thing up so please please hit that subscribe button smash that notification bell and hit that like button and tell all your friends on social media that I'm out here word of mouth is very important for my channel and like we always say on every video we do at the end, may all your dice rolls come up sixes unless you're looking for a one. Peace out, everybody.